the total volume of a solution is already calculated before mixing. Why? Because when you mix the solute and solvent, what happens is that there are interactions between the molecules or the atoms of the solute and the solvent. So the volume of the solute, the, the, due to this interaction, they may be attractive or they may be repulsive. So if they are attractive, then the volume of the solution would decrease. That means the volume of solution would be less than volume of solute plus volume of solvent. And if there are repulsive interactions, then the volume of the solution will be more than the volume of the solute plus the volume of the solvent. But we want the exact volume, volume of the solute plus volume of the solvent. So that is why before mixing, we calculate the volume of the solute, we calculate volume of the solvent and just add them. You can just get a small MCQ from here. But very important. And again, weight by volume, you can easily predict. It's weight of given quantity divided by total volume into 100. So these are the three percentage solutions percentage concentrations you can see and uh, why these three are separately introduced is because you have different types of solutions like in solid solid solutions but not uh, yeah solid solid solutions you will mainly use this weight by weight because the, it's easy to measure the weight of a solid rather than measuring its volume. In liquid-liquid solutions, you will have volume by volume because it's easy to measure the volume of a liquid. And in weight by volume, I mean in solid-liquid solutions, you would have weight by volume. So depending upon the nature of the solution, what is the solution, what is the state of the solute and the solvent, you have different types of concentrations. Then we come to another important concentration. This is the one of the most important concentrations and it is very very frequently used. Molarity. Molarity is defined as moles of solute in 1 liter of solution. So it is calculated by number of moles of solute divided by total volume of solution. So, and its unit is mole per liter. I mean, mole is not exactly a unit as such, but to say, to, we have to know what is there in the numerator, so it's mole per liter. This molarity, why is it important? Because you can 
you you get a better idea of what how much solute is there and how much solution because the solute is generally um, suppose NaCl or sort of this sort of thing so you can easily calculate uh, the number of moles of the solute and you have the total volume of the solution so this molarity is very gen very commonly used in uh, defining concentration another important concentration term is molality this is molarity this is molality and molarity is denoted by capital M molality is defined as number of moles of solute in 1 kg of solvent a very common mistake everyone does and even I have done is that the number of molarity or any other concentration term the denominator is always the total volume or the total mass or the total anything of the solution but in molarity it's number of moles of solute divided by weight of solvent in kg and this this is in liter always in molarity so this is the only concentration term in which there is weight of solvent only solvent and not the total weight of the solution in kg most of the times people do this mistake that they take the weight of the whole solution that is the weight of the solvent including the weight of the solute and the molarity will come wrong so don't forget that molarity is the number of moles of solute divided by weight of solvent in kg and in kg always this is also the total volume is in liter always because that's how molarity is defined it's moles per liter and this is molarity is moles per kg now comparing these two molarity and molality which one do you think I mean I have taken a solution of NaCl and water and I have calculated its molarity I have calculated its molarity now if I change the temperature if I heat the solution what do you expect will the molarity change will the molality change will both change or will both remain constant what can you say you see molarity this involves the volume of the solution it's related to volume and molarity is related to weight now we all know that increasing the temperature will not change the number of moles of solute unless it is breaking or uh, due to the energy supply or there is any reaction happening so the number of moles of solute is not going to change so what can change this denominator now in molality the denominator is weight of the solvent so by heating or by cooling the weight or the mass of the solvent it cannot change because mass is always constant but the volume of the solute, solute solution can change or will change if its if the temperature is changed so that is why molarity depends on temperature but molality does not depend on temperature and in fact molality is 
one of the only concentrations which does not which do not depend on temperature otherwise all depend on temperature except for weight by weight or mole fractions they also don't depend on temperature but all those involving volume they depend on temperature this molality does not depend on temperature or on pressure also this this molality you can add pressure also because volume also changes with pressure but number of moles or weight of solvent in kg will not depend on pressure 